All right, so we got in a really great collection yesterday. So today we're just gonna take the time, go through everything, see what everything's worth, price up some stuff, list some stuff, and see what we wanna keep for our own personal collection. So thought we'd take you guys along and we're just gonna go through the collection and yeah, take it book by book. There's a lot of signed stuff too. Some Adam Hughes, this one's really cool. The Eastman signed read marked, the lead killer variant. So we're gonna go through today, price all these up. This one's really cool. Six. This one I might hold on to. We got the La Mole variant on the SM7. This is another one I might hold on to, signed by Adam Hughes. And then another beautiful Zatanna, and then the 8.5 on the 16. All kinds of different independent books. I'm not too familiar with a whole bunch of these. So I'm gonna have to do some research. There's some signed stuff in here. I'm looking for one specific book that I saw yesterday. Oh, here it is. This thing's sick. I totally didn't even realize what this was when I first saw it, but this is the gold variant edition. So I'm probably gonna put this with my other keys inside of this box over here. This is the box that has all of the really nice variants and key issues. This set right here is really nice. You guys will have to comment down below if you've ever seen this before. I noticed someone had a set on eBay and it was pretty expensive. We'll see if Sarah could pop it up over here. Each one of these only has 50 copies. So I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna price it at because I know it's kind of expensive. Yeah, there's, there's only this one that's listed. It is $1,000. Um, it's from the New York Comic Con set from 2015. So there's only 50 of them and we do have the whole set, which is really cool. So not really sure what exactly we'll list this as. You might have to hold on to it for a little while before you sell it. Maybe drop the price down a couple hundred dollars, but it is a really nice near mint set. We might want to send in for 9.8 pre-screens because if these came back 9.8s, they'd be... Yeah, but then like if some of them get 9.8, it's a set. Like you have to keep them all together. So if some got a 9.8 and some didn't, it wouldn't really work. You know what I mean? Like it needs to be, all of them need to be 9.8s or nothing, I feel like. You guys want to crack something out real quick? Oh, the case already... is cracked. I didn't the even notice that. The case cracked. I didn't either. I don't know if it's focused. I know, it's kind of hard to see. You can see right there. There's a casing inside. There you go, nice and easy. Easy peasy. And then it sits just like that, and then this should pop out. Oh yeah, it's just in there. Oh, cool. Just like that. The Kevin Eastman sign, this one's really cool. Sign and sketch, TMNT Universe 1 in a 9.8. So this one's really cool. Kind of hard to find the exact one um, online like this. You got the sketch on the cover, signed by Kevin Eastman. Baltimore Comic Con edition. Cool, man, these She-Hulks. Gotta read back and board these. You got issue nine yeah, and 10. Great. I'm trying to find some stuff that I know is valuable that I would like to hold on to. Oh, this one's cool. The Redneck. There's one Supergirl book in here somewhere. Oh, that thing is sick. J. Scott Campbell polybagged Batman Adventures with the TMNT. I got some Supergirl and lots of great books. I still got a price up a lot of these. The hip hop variant on the new Avengers, G.I. Joe, Dark Claw, Life with Archie number 36, Adam Hughes variant, The Watchmen, some Spawn, great stuff. The 218, oh this one's cool. Price this one up. Condition on these books is really nice. Yeah he took really great care of his books for sure. I love all these cat women's he had too. So many beautiful covers. Issue 74. This is from 2008. Going through the box and I found two of them. Didn't even realize. This always happens when I go through collections. You miss stuff the first time. Oblivion Song, I got two of those. I have no idea what this is. These Dark Vaders are cool. Some Spidey, that's issue one variant cover. Star Wars, Miss Marvel number 12. First appearance on Inhumans. This is a super clean copy on Batman 399. Very cool cover. TMNT. Silk number one. Rocket Raccoon variant cover. Man, so many great books. Plus, ooh, Doctor Strange, J. Scott Campbell. Oh, this is a great one right now too. The Batman 6, Adam Hughes, oh this one goes with these, 
pretty nice. Doctor Strange, that's issue number three. Really solid copy. Canyon Punisher, Hellblazer number one. This might be my favorite cover in the collection. I don't know, I just love it. Robbie Ray as Ghost Rider. This is the Del Auto variant cover. Some more Doctor Strange. First cameo, I believe, of um, Constantine. And then if we look in here, a little farther, we can see right here. First appearance of Constantine. Great book. Some Moon Knight, She-Hulk. I mean, this collection's got a little bit of everything in it. You guys will have to comment down below and let me know what your favorite book is. This might be close to mine, though. <laughs> I love this variant cover. This is a sick pickup. Pretty pricey book, too. The J. Scott Campbell variant. We got the Punisher Hip Hop. Some Batman Lenticulars. These are cool, and then I think he's got the ones on the back over here. This is a really cool indie book. This is from the Emerald City Comic Con, but this one is Lady Killer number one in a 9.8, and it typically goes for around like 450. So that will put us. Oh, really? I didn't realize it was that expensive. Yeah, this one is because it's a limited to 500. Grades are definitely not the highest, but it is signed. It's signed by Joel Jones, 2018. These are going to be other hard ones to price up just because they're not 9.8s or 9.6s, and I don't think there's too many 9.4s that are signed to reference. There's a couple more in here. Yeah, we'll do all the antennas at the same time. So we have issue 11, issue 15. These are such great covers. And then you have the final issue, which is the one everyone's always looking for on issue 16. Pretty bad spine tick, right by the 299. And then coming on down, there's some chipping on the bottom over here. And then that corner's got a pretty bad dog ear. I think like 200, because it's an 8.5, so it is a pretty low grade. But it is signed by Adam. And it is, I mean, raw, in nice condition, it is like $150. 9.6, Dark Knight 3 Master Race, issue 8. And then over here, this really cool J. Scott Campbell. This is the Mexican edition variant. An Amazing Spider-Man 7 from 2016. Also have the Supergirl one over here. I got all excited when I first saw it. I thought it was the um, like the first print on that Legion of Superheroes. But this is the Spanish edition also. Or Mexican edition, I think. I don't know what to price this at. Comment down below if you know something about this book. What the price is, because I can't find any. Yeah, so it's not available anymore, but they did have it for 75 it looks like, but this was the only one that we could find. We couldn't find it anywhere else. All right, so apparently this is a 1 in 100 Frank Miller, but in a 9.6, it's not worth a whole bunch of money. 1952, beautiful condition copy for a 3.5. Display is really nice. I hate selling these books cheap, but $50. they have gone down a lot. Yeah. Sarah says 50. I wanted to price it at 80. We're going 50. So I said 50. I know 80 is kind of high because the book has gone down a bunch. Yeah, it's gone down a bunch since the shows have been over and there hasn't been any like Moon Knight news lately. So you know how the books go. They fluctuate. First Constantine. And then he also has the other one, the issue 25, which is like the cameo. I've been looking for one for a little while too. This one was a near mint copy that sold for $3.59. I mean, ours not like very far off. Here's the Swamp Thing 25 early appearance of Constantine the cameo. Over here, we got the sirens, number one. I think I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> You're gonna keep it? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this one. It's a really nice copy. I've seen these before, and I mean, it is like the first Gotham City Sirens. And it's such a cool cover. These are gonna stay in my PC. Oh well, yeah, these are nice. We actually have a 9.0 graded copy of this, don't we? I think we do. Yes, we do. And then the Invincible. This is the, um, I think the controversial issue right here. He was telling us about this one when we picked up the collection. Wow, this one's really falling off too. <laughs> Moon Knight's really just fell off a cliff. Oh, wow, yeah, this like book used to be pretty book. pricey. 10 bucks? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll hold on to it for $10. So this book is a near my copy, but it's like all over the place. It goes from like 130 to like 250. <laughs> it's because the show's pretty yeah. close to coming out. I mean, it's near mint though. I don't know what we should put it at. I mean, I want to price it high, I gotta admit. <laughs> I don't have a lot of Invincible. And yeah, this is like our only Invincible. Somewhat of a key issue. And then we do have the limited series number one, the Star Wars canon. Oh, and then these Moon Knights, the plaid issues. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Unnatural. First appearance 
on this one, Edge of Spider-Verse 5. Oh, here's some more of those director's cuts. We got the Zatanna 14, this one's a low print run. And then we have the cool Catwoman Cafe cover, and then these two were signed by Adam Hughes. No COA though. This is just a whole bunch of fillers, lots of different variants. So, gotta go through everything still. These ones are really nice. These Supergirl covers. There is the foil art germ in here. This one's beautiful. All right, so we got a Doctor Strange, yeah. Master of the Mystic Arts 1. Let's see if the Marble Ooh, Value stamp there is there. Go. Oh, easy as that. Went right to it. <laughs> nice. I was gonna say, let's check and see if it's in there because it looks like a pretty solid book. Got the silk over here, number one first print. Got all my nice keys in the uh, top loaders over here. Those are all nice and safe now. I didn't even realize that this is the Clayton Crane variant. Yeah, these are the pretty Spawn cool. Director's so there's cut. some different um, variants on these director's cut Spawn. So this one is the Clayton Crane variant. It's about like $40. Some people have it for 60, depending on grade. But yeah, and then I still have to find this one. Um, I haven't found that one yet. So I'm gonna see what that one is too. All right, we just found a really cool Punisher variant. So variant number one, I just looked it up. It's going, depending on the grade, from like 150 to like 80 bucks. And ours is near mint. I don't see anything wrong with this. This is the one in 25. It's Alex Maliev. So one in 25 Alex Malie variant. That's the thing with these books, a lot of these variants and in indies, you really have yeah, to look, like, like every look everything single up. one of them up. <laughs> I know, I got this one over here, the Marvel Premiere issue three. Super clean copy, great Doctor Strange cover. We got some more TMNT we're pricing up. Okay, this is crazy. I didn't expect this to be that big of a book. I don't know Miss Marvel that well, but this is the first appearance of Red Dagger. It's a one in 25 Jones variant, and it's apparently like a $100 book. We have some pretty cool Umbrella Academy issues here. We have the full, this is the Apocalypse Suite, one through six. Pricing up these plat issues on Moon Knight and it's crazy how much these have gone down. They're iconic covers, but the prices have definitely gone down since the show was over, but that's typically how it goes when shows come out, but these are just some great covers. I know, the only one he's missing out of the run is the Spider-Man one on 57, I believe. Yeah, that one's really cool, the Spider-Man one. Great Sadly covers. don't have that one. But we did set up the wall too, so it looks nice. We've got our new keys up there, we got some new CGC books, so definitely coming along really nicely. All right, we found even more crazy books. So apparently this is the first Futurama in comics, which is crazy. We keep finding some crazy stuff in here. We'll be going through this for a while. Variants, the Cool Sabrina Breaking Bad awesome homage. Too. Yeah, then we got these awesome Sabrinas. And then this one's actually a one in 100 variant. TMNT, Bebop and Rock Steady. That one's really cool. We got Oblivion Song. These were kind of cool. This one, it has a pink signature. So it's like a pink signature variant. I guess that one's kind of hard to find. And then this, is the classic one. Well, we hope you all enjoyed kind of hanging out with us, going through some of the books, pricing them up, kind of seeing how the process goes. But we hope you enjoyed the video and we will catch you in the next one. See you later.